August 2011, USA, Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, the 9th World Championship IJMC. There is one model among the others which became the object of special attention. It is Yak-130 in 1-4 scale built by Vitaly Robertus. The model received unprecedentedly high score on the static stage and left all the competitors far behind. The circumstance became the major factor in the victory. Vitaly Robertus brought the Champion Cup to Russia for the first time. For the next championship, Vitaly prepared a new deeply modified version of Yak-130. The second model became a standard of accuracy and embodiment of the highest technologies in modeling. Two years later, on the Jetworld Masters 2013 in Meringer, Switzerland, Vitaly won the championship title for the second time. The incredible accuracy and high static scores of Yak forced the organizers of the competition to reconsider the requirements for the models, thereby made the competition more spectacular and stronger. It became obvious that at the next competitions the main fight will be over flight skills. During summer of 2015, at the 11th IJMC Championship in Germany, Yak-130 scored maximum points for static score, although the gap from the rivals was not as significant as before. But this time, the spectacular flight program and high level of piloting ensured the victory. Thus, these two versions of Yak-130 led Vitaly Robertus for the victory for the third time in a row. Yak-130 model had been made perfect with its extreme accuracy, but without a doubt, another victory is possible only with the new model, which had to be significantly better than Yak. For the 12th IJMC Championship, Vitaly has been preparing another unique project. This is the MiG-29 project. This is not a regular scale model of the MiG-29 jet fighter. Literally, the only difference between this model and the prototype is the size. The choice of the prototype is not random. MiG-29 is a supersonic aircraft with a blended wing body, two engines and two tail fins. The aerodynamic profiles and wing twist had been fully replicated on the model. The model has a completely recreated aerodynamic scheme and control logic of the prototypes, with the stabs, rudders, ailerons, two-piece slats and flaps. One of the key points of making an accurate scale model is the access to the prototype. More than 12,000 photos has been taken during the design stage, before actual building of the model. Obviously, the display team aircraft have noticeable traces of long-term service. The circumstance complicates the accurate reproduction, yet at the same time, it provides additional scores at competitions. Another important factor is the flight characteristics of the model. It is not a secret that the MiG-29 has excellent aerodynamic performance. Model's performance peculiarities are usually inherited from the prototype. The first test flights showed them that the choice of the MiG-29 fighter was right, and the model has great future. The Rusjet MiG-29 has been confirmed as better than Yak in most aspects. 
during the building of the MiG-29, the latest technologies have been applied. The design and the layout of MiG-29 is significantly different from the Yak-130. During the creation of the model, many complex technological and production problems for several particular sections had been solved. The scale of 4.75 was chosen for the construction. The total length of the model is more than 3.5 meters. The size allows to perform flight maneuvers at realistic speeds. MiG-29 model has two Jetcat P-100 engines with a total thrust of 19 kg. This choice of power plant ensures a safe flight even in case of one engine failure. The main features of the MiG-29 model are The work of the onboard controls and systems is provided by 25 servos and 11 pneumatic cylinders. A system of 96 individual carbon fiber segments imitate adjustable nozzles with external and internal counters. Individually designed and accurately manufactured carbon fiber landing gear with electric drive, two-stage shock absorbers and the original mechanism of noise gear stand retraction. The wheel rims are also made of carbon fiber, with pneumatic disc brakes and unique airless tires. The landing gear base are fully equipped with all the wirings and landing lights. All 10 doors are active. In takeoff and landing configurations, engine exile entrances are closed automatically and upper doors open simultaneously. The speed brake is fully replicated. There are two independent fuel systems based on flexible tanks provide reliable engine response in all flight modes. To increase the realism of the flight, the central fuel tank jettison is provided. A brake chute is deployed on landing, followed by a drop at the end of the run. The model has the original livery of the Russian Air Force display team Swifts. The skin of the model reproduces all the effects of aging, weathering and surface texture. Fully detailed cockpit with animated pilot and opening canopy. The cabin of the model has no difference with the cockpit of the prototype. There is another unique feature of Frustjet MiG-29 project. During the construction, Vitaly Robertus performed several flights on a real MiG-29 fighter for better understanding of the prototype's behavior. He conducted a full set of aerobatic maneuvers, including the elements of the upcoming championship's flight program. <laughs>